Hi there, welcome to Math Vibe. Hope you're doing well. In this video, we're going to solve quadratic equations by completing the square. We have three problems that we're going to work on. And as we go down, the problems get slightly more difficult, but the steps to solve them are very similar. Let's get started. We got the first equation, x squared minus 6x is equal to 16. To complete the square, we are going to take the coefficient of x, divide this by 2, and square it. First thing we're going to do is we're going to add this 6 over 2 square on both sides. Now this is a perfect square, and we can rewrite this x, I'm going to bring down the sign that is next to the coefficient of x, which is negative, and we're going to bring down the 6 over 2. And this is squared. And that's equal to 16 plus 6 divided by 2 is 3, square, 16 plus 9. Here we're going to rewrite this as x minus 3 square is equal to 16 plus 9 is 25. Now you can take the square root on both sides. This will cancel out and we get x minus 3 is equal to plus or minus, don't forget that, 5. The reason we use plus or minus is that when you take the square root of a constant you get two possible solutions, the positive and the negative. Five. Negative 5 squared is also equal to 25. Hence, we need to make sure we have positive and negative here. So now we're going to add 3 to both sides. And this will cancel. This becomes x is equal to plus or minus 5 plus 3. And this is basically two equations, 5 plus 3 and negative 5 plus 3. That's equal to 8, and that's equal to negative 2. So here we have x is equal to 8 and negative 2. And these are our solutions. Number 2, x squared minus 7x minus 4 is equal to 0. To start, we're going to move the constant to the right-hand side. The first one didn't require us to do that. The constant's already on the right-hand side. So you're going to add 4 on both sides. This will cancel. It's equal to 4. Once again, we want to make this into a perfect square. To do that, we're going to take the 7 the coefficient next to the x, divide this by 2, and then square the terms. And now, we want to add this term to both sides. This makes this side a perfect square, and we can rewrite that. This becomes x, we're going to bring down the negative sign that's right next to the coefficient of, of x, and bring down the 7 half, and square this, and that's equal to 4 plus 6. x minus 7 over 2 square is going to equal to 16 over 4 plus 49 over 4. We multiplied the top and the bottom by 4, so that we get 16 over 4. Now this is equal to 65 over 4. And now we can take the square root of both sides. This will cancel. And we will get <coughs> x minus 7 halves is equal to plus or minus the square root of 65 over 4. 
And that's equal to plus or minus the square root of 65 over the square root of 4, which is equal to plus or minus the square root of 65 over 2. And we get x minus 7 halves is equal to plus or minus the square root of 65 over 2. And now we want to add 7 halves on both sides. This will cancel, and we now we have x is equal to plus square root of 65 plus 7 over 2, and negative square root of 65 plus 7 over 2. And these are our answers. Number 3. We have 2x squared minus 4x plus 10 is equal to 0. Now notice the coefficient over here. 2x squared is not 1, and we need to make this into a 1. But regardless, what we first want to do is move the constant to the right-hand side. We're going to subtract 10 on both sides. This will cancel. It's equal to negative 10. Now, we want to divide by 2 in order to get the coefficient to equal to 1. And here's our new equation. And now we can proceed as we did before. We are going to turn this into a perfect square. To do that, we're going to take the 2, divide this by 2, and then square it. And we're going to add this to both sides. I'm going to add 2 over 2 square on both sides. This right here is now a perfect square, and we can write that as x, bring down the negative sign that's next to the coefficient of x, and they're going to bring down the 2 over 2, and square the entire thing. 2 divided by 2 is 1, and 1 square. Now we're going to rewrite this x minus 1 square is equal to negative 5 plus 1. It's equal to negative 4. They're going to write this over here x minus 1 square is equal to negative 4. We're going to take the square root of both sides. This will cancel and become x minus 1 is equal to the square root of neg negative 4. The square root of a negative number is equal to square root of negative 1 times 4. And now we're getting into imaginary numbers. That's equal to the square root of negative 1 times the square root of 4. Square root of negative 1 is i. And the square root of 4 is plus or minus 2. This is plus or minus 2 times i. So here we have x minus 1 is equal to plus or minus 2 times i. And we're going to add 1 to both sides. This cancels, so x is equal to plus or minus 2i plus 1. I'm going to write this as 1 plus or minus 2i. And so our solutions are 1 plus 2i and 1 minus 2i. And that's it. We've solved all three of these problems. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, or there's something that you wanted further explanation on, leave it in the comment below. Thanks for watching. Until next time, take care.